Alrighty guys, so what's going on? My name is Carboom and welcome back to another Ultimate Driving video and today guys, they dropped an enormous update. It's huge. Not only because they've added three new cars, but a completely new lighting system into the game. And the lighting system, as you can probably already tell, looks insane. So guys, we're going to be checking out two of the brand new cars, one including the fastest in the game, going up to 300 miles per hour and the new lighting system which looks awesome so guys you're going to want to watch this entire video all right so kicking off is the new lighting system so this new lighting system is called future is bright 2.5 this is a roblox wide lighting update so every game can have it it depends on the developers if they want to include it and TTP is a developer that is wanting to include it in his game and must I say it looks amazing. This is obviously the center. This is not a new car but I think this is one of the cars that really shows it off. I took a picture earlier which I'll put up on the screen here that I think captures the sharpness that this lighting can have on cars. But here we go guys, um, I'm just going to show it off in this car here because I think this really shows it off with the correct lighting and looking around, it doesn't even look like a Roblox game anymore. The sharpness to the cars, the lighting, it makes it look so much better. Maybe around the map it doesn't really add anything to the map so to say, but the cars which is the main thing of this game looks incredible. I mean looking around this it brings out so much more detail like never before. Which is really, really awesome to see. And like I said, every game can have this. It can be tweaked. It can be um, added to every game if the developer wants to. Which I think is really, really nice. And I'm happy that Ultimate Driving is doing it so fast. Like, this only came out a couple of days ago. So, it's really, really cool. And it's one of the first to have it. So, if you want to check out Future is Bright, if you know what it is, then this is the game to do it. Because this is one of the only games. So, moving on to the new cars in this update. So, here we have the Koenigsegg Jesko on my left and the Lamborghini Shan, I think it is. Um, I, took, I put it on Google Translate. That's what it said. That It said Shan. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I cannot pronounce words. But, there we go. The new Lamborghini and the new Koenigsegg. And the Koenigsegg is the fastest car. The one on my left. That goes... 300 miles per hour guys and that is crazy and it's crazy cheap for the fastest car in the game it only costs 5.6 million now that's still a lot but the Lamborghini which isn't as fast costs 7.2 million I think the Lamborghini looks a little bit better and um, it adds the Lamborghini look to it but it adds a lot of stuff it adds some nice carbon fiber parts to it and especially the back looks really really cool it's got some fins there and the exhausts look really really cool with the lights but we're not really going to be talking about this car today we're going to be talking about the Jesco the fastest car in the game not this update in the entire game now and it looks really really cool with the hint of blue and the massive spoiler at the end it looks really really cool and a very futuristic very modern with the end of it going like slanting down i don't know it just has that feel to it but we're gonna hop in it now we're gonna drive it and we're going to test it out so before i do a test run of this car i just want to shout out to boz he's the one that allows me to make these videos because um up here he has 402 million and i only have uh, 4.6 million so he has a lot more money than me and can afford these brand new cars So massive shout outs to him for helping me with these videos and buying the cars for these obviously he just buys the cars anyway but he lets me use them some massive shout outs to him so he's also obviously been driving this car for a little bit longer than me and for what he says is he says that the jesco which is the car that we're in right now the handling quote unquote sucks and the brakes aren't too good either but the acceleration is supposed to be amazing so we're gonna be checking it out right now so let's let's go let's just look at the speedometer and that acceleration is crazy that accelerated past 0 60 in a couple of seconds and we're almost nice max speed i don't think we're gonna get it now because we are going around a sharp corner um, but let, let's test it out. Maybe we can get up to its max speed. I want to test the braking of this car. See if it actually isn't that good. And yeah, braking here, it doesn't seem to be that responsive. And I want to test out the handling as well. Because apparently the handling absolutely sucks. But we're going to apply boost to get up to its max speed really fast. And we're at 300 miles per hour. We're over it. We are going over 300 miles per hour because that's of the boost. But I want to try and brake here. So how fast will it brake? Are we going to crash? Okay, so the braking isn't very responsive. So the braking, not that good. And the handling, it seems to be driving all right right now. Um, but that's because I'm pretty much going on straight roads and slowing really, really down to go around corners. But for how cheap it is, 
it's pretty good. You're basically just paying for the speed. You may not be paying for anything else. The speed and acceleration is probably what you're paying with this car. And to be honest, that's pretty good. You'll probably win a lot of highway races if you uh, buy this car to do races in. Or because it's probably best on straight roads. There's a lot better cars to do it around corners or that sort of race. But if you're racing with friends and want to do it on a highway, this car is definitely the best one. If you get want to get anywhere fast, obviously, fastest car in the game right now and... It's been a while, it's finally been taken away from the Venom F5, which has held that crown of being the fastest for so long, and finally, it's, it's, it's been taken away, which is super, super awesome, and I'm happy to see it. But yeah, the handling going around that corner is absolutely dreadful. Um, I tried to do a bit of a drift there, but as soon as you start drifting, it like snaps back, which is a little bit weird. I haven't really seen that. I don't know if you can tell in the recording, um, but it sort of snaps back at times, which I don't really like. And the drifting there, that was not too good. I had to uh, stop and turn myself. So I want to see if we can get some drifts going. Maybe, obviously, it's not a drift car at all. But it's always good to have a little bit of drift capability when going around corners. Especially at going high speeds, because you're not going to want to fully stop in races. But okay, I made that pretty bad round there. I almost went to zero, which is not something you want to do in races. But now that it's getting night, we can probably test out the Future is Bright 2.5 in night time. Which, to be honest, it doesn't seem to bring much um, to it in night time. It sort of just looks the same. Maybe there's a bit more shadow to it, um, I think. Yeah, there's a bit more shadow to the lights, a bit more detail with the uh, lighting. But apart from that, there's nothing much. It doesn't, the cars still don't look as good in night. They look very, I don't know, they just don't look as good. They don't seem as reflective as they should. But when I was driving past here, I noticed a clothes shop. I don't, I'm pretty sure this is new in this update. I don't think I've seen this before, but it looks like a pretty cool um, merch shop. So we've got these little scanny things so you can actually steal. Um, obviously, that's just for decoration, but we have merch. Um, UD merch to be exact, the little UD logo. I don't think you can buy it yet. It doesn't look like you can buy it, which... It's alright, so maybe they'll add functionality in this uh, merch shop in a little bit of a later date. But I like this. This is like working on... I did a, a video on another map, uh, one of the new Ultimate Driving maps, and they had a merch shop. So it's like coming all together. It looks like each map will be getting a merch shop, which is pretty cool if you want to wear the UD merch. And I actually saw something pop up here. Okay, so we can sort of purchase the shop. It's a little bit glitchy. Um, I, I, it sort of pops up. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we can actually purchase it. It does work. It does seem a bit glitchy, like they don't come up half the time. But, you know, it's, it's alright. I mean, you can hold down E and it comes up. You can buy it for Robux, obviously. It looks like they're all 30. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty cool. You have different designs, all very similar with the UD logo. It's just different colours. Maybe a tiny bit of a design difference. But, guys, if you want to buy some merch, there's always Carbu merch on um, sale at the at my group. Link in the description. Okay, out of that merch plug, might as well do it in the merch shop. Not my merch shop, but you know. Let's get back in the fastest car and let's see what we can do to put it to the test. For an over 5 million car, that is good. That is a pretty big investment for some people. Obviously, like to boss here, it's not that big. But for me, I don't even have enough yet. That's going to be a big investment if I wanted to buy it in the future. So you're going to want it to be pretty much really good at anything. Obviously the max speed is something amazing that no other car can compare. And even the acceleration is pretty high up there. I wouldn't really say it's the best. It's pretty good, but I think there's other better acceleration cars. But for the handling of this car and the brakes, the brakes actually don't seem too bad. Especially when you're going from 300 to 0. They seem all right, but the handling is what really lets this car down, which is a shame because if the handling was a little bit better, it would make this all around amazing car. And I know why they've done it. They've had to balance it. If they had everything good about this car for such a cheap price, it would be the best car in the game. But sadly, that is not true. It's the fastest. It's got good acceleration. The brakes are decent at times, but the handling... The handling is not good. It snaps back at random times. The drifting isn't too good. The drifting sort of stops halfway through the drift. And it's, I'm not going too slow. Maybe I'm coming in a bit too fast to drift there. Yeah, I was. Uh, so I won't really put that against it. But at times, the, the handling could be so much better than it is. Which is a shame. It really lets his car down. 
And I noticed when I was breaking a little while ago, the spoiler actually does move. So if we break with um, B, I think it is, no, it's S. So if we break with S, if the spoiler moves like in real life to help slow down the car, to create wind resistance, obviously there's no really wind resistance in Roblox or Ultimate Driving, so it's just for aesthetics purely. But it adds a little bit more realism, which a lot of cars now, a lot of the hypercars and supercars in this game are doing, which is really, really nice to see. And um, maybe it's not really too realistic with the way it bends, I don't know. Um, but there's also a V button that we can press, which doesn't do anything. Okay, so when you press V, over cars, it makes the spoilers go up and down. But this spoiler doesn't go up and down, so it just locks it. So what that does, like I said, you, when you press S, it normally makes it move. But now I've turned it off, you can turn it on and off, which is uh, very nice. And I've turned it back on, and I've turned it off again, and now, um, and it doesn't move, which is really, really nice uh, to add if you don't want it to be uh, moving all the time like that. And you can simply just turn it off, which is really, really awesome. So all around this car is really, really cool. It stands out with its futuristic and modern design. I really like the rims as well. The rims are looking very, very nice. And it's all around a fairly decent car. It's a cheap price for an insanely fast car, but sadly the handling does let it down a little bit. So if you want a car that handles good, not your car. If you want the fastest car in the game, then this is definitely your car. I mean, 300 miles per hour, that's crazy. Um, but with the future is bright as well, that brings so much more future uh, photo opportunities for this game and makes it look so much better. It makes the cars pop, it makes it look like it's not even from Roblox anymore, which is something I think every developer, every car developer really wants um, for their cars to be. Ascend from Roblox to make it look like a real um, AAA car game, which is what this game, which is what Ultimate Driving is slowly clawing to be, especially with the new lighting improvements, which is super awesome to see. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, comment down below what you think was the best part of this update, whether it was the new lighting improvement, the Jesco, or the new Lamborghini. Let me know down below what you think is the best part. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a video or live stream by me. Because whenever a new Ultimate Driving update comes out, I'll be one of the first to cover it fully. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.